Frederick Stenmo, Director of the Board of Medicover in New Delhi. Medicover uh, has expanded in Central Eastern Europe over the last 20 years and become a world-class leader in all its specialized healthcare opportunities. The um, healthcare services opportunity in India is huge. Uh, it's a very large opportunity in a large country we, and in particular the um, IVF opportunity is in a fragmented market which is unregulated. We have um, the opportunity to uh, come into uh, India today uh, to uh, consolidate a fragmented market and bring world-class service in high ethical and transparent services um, in uh, hopefully a market that is growing significantly. Family has been um, focusing a lot on philanthropic uh, activities uh, over the last 20-30 years. In particular we've been sponsoring um, diabetes research, uh, world-class research out of uh, Sweden, US and uh, Singapore. We have uh, run one of the largest screening projects for um, teenagers in uh, Poland, Central Eastern Europe, screening about 30,000 um, teenagers for pre prevalence for diabetes, working with the stakeholders um, as the governments, the families, schools and the children itself. A very, very successful program. We've also sponsored um, um, professorships in um, the aging of the uh, brain, so neuroscience. Uh, those has been our main uh, philanthropic activities. The business model is to um, uh, give affordable, world-class service in IVF treatment, bringing advanced technology to give superior pregnancy outcomes. We have <coughs> recruited some of the best people in the industry and um, uh, we believe that with ethical and transparent behavior towards our patients and customers, it will be a key differentiator for their experience. We will work with self-regulation, be one of the first ones to work with self-regulation. We will uh, use uh, clinical uh, audits. We will look at the infrastructure, bring the most advanced technology. We also will be the first one to work with an ethical code, um, uh, which has been monitored um, externally by a um, ex-medical director of Bupa in UK. So very high standards. We intend to um, build uh, Medicover into a uh, leading fertility provider in uh, India. We believe that we can grow this into uh, over $100 million in a couple of years with over 50 clinics in the same time period. Our ambitions are higher. There are more scope in specialized healthcare uh, than just fertility. And as the opportunities comes along, we find the good people to build on. We will continue to invest for many years to come. It's natural for us to look at other um, verticals um, and um, anything that sort of is related to IVF um, could be lab, specialized lab services, could be anything to have to do with uh, um, services that is very closely related to um, um, the um, clinical process um, in uh, fertility. And uh, I think if we are um, as successful as we think we will be, uh, we should be, and with the right people we have on board, we, you will see Medicover expand its services over time. We think our impact will be dramatic. Uh, the patients uh, should demand a more ethical, transparent uh, behavior from the uh, players in the market. And we encourage the regulators to become much more um, demanding 
from the, uh, uh, the IVF players in the market. We will be the first one to self-regulate ourselves. We will sh uh, show our ethical codes um, on the, um, uh, publicly. And um, we believe that our world-class service and advanced technology combined with this ethical code and uh, uh, transparency on, uh, on all our activities and success rates will become a key differentiator when people are choosing who to go to. The patient always comes first and this is extremely important and working with the best people in the industry, the best technology will give the patient the best outcome. The uh, significant urbanization that you see in India um, also drives employment and employment gives a uh, higher disposable income. So a combination of uh, a um, higher disposable income and lowering, being able to lowering prices um, is something that is going to create an affordable price for uh, the patients. We've been uh, investing in uh, India for a very long time through uh, our Oriflame activity, which is the direct selling cosmetics company. We have uh, invested together with um, first class um, organization Samara Capital in uh, healthcare and consumer rate, uh, related businesses. The healthcare businesses has been Lutus Surgical, Thyrocare, which is a lab business in um, India. We've also invested in uh, Monte Carlo, um, the clothing business um, in northern India with Paradise, which is a, um, a fast food quick service restaurant chain in uh, Hyderabad. And uh, lately Sapphire Foods, which is, um, has the franchise for Yum Brands in India. So quite a lot of um, investments we've done over the last 10-15 years in India. Have a good understanding of the market and the opportunities. Um, have um, felt the time has been right to go into um, uh, IVF in uh, India and uh, will continue to look at uh, further opportunities as they come along. We've also focused on uh, education, children. One of our larger projects in, um, in Asia has actually been in India, in Tamil Nadu, with Hand in Hand organization founded by um, a Swedish couple and then Percy Barnevik. So that has expanded uh, from India to uh, Afghanistan to Africa. So those have been our activities. We're a family owned, Swedish family. We work with uh, deep rooted values um, of how we run businesses and how we treat people. Uh, we give them a lot of um, um, accountability, but also they have um, a lot of freedom in developing uh, in their own um, businesses. And um, we've shown that we demand um, a lot from our people and they are very hard working, but we try to give a lot back as well. We give them um, predictability, we give them uh, accountability, we also give them an opportunity to, um, uh, to excel in their own businesses and grow with the job. Most of the people that we have in our organizations have been growing internally. This builds a special culture and um, the family is very close to the company and visible in the company, which also provides for a good culture in the company. But to give you a very recent example of how the um, family took uh, care of its people was with the difficult time with the uh, war period in Ukraine um, where many lives were lost, people, uh, infrastructure was destroyed, home was destroyed. We continued during this difficult time for the country of Ukraine to uh, employ our people to pay their salaries, to help them with the housing, to help them with food and healthcare. 
and um, the, the, what, this is something that our competitors did not do. We are very, very motivated by keeping our loyal people um, and developing them over a long time. This has grown incredibly uh, in the Ukrainian organization and we build values and loyalty for generations to come through this.